Okay, first of all, let me say hello and welcome. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Fabian Fröse. I'm a professor here. It's uh, good to see you. And we have also some others here with me. So we have uh, a workshop now. I think you received emails uh, from us. So we have a workshop now. And then we have also interviews uh, following that. And uh, in this workshop now, uh, we would like to have uh, briefly introduce ourselves. And then we would like to invite you, you know, to present your ideas for a doctoral dissertation. And uh, then we'll have uh, some questions some discussion. And then, as I mentioned at the end, uh, after the first workshop, uh, we'll have small groups, breakout groups or uh, different rooms where we have uh, interviews. I, I would like to give a brief introduction uh, to, our, to my chair here. Let's see if I can... Can you see it? Yes? Okay. A brief introduction. All right. Um, here's our team. I think you've uh, met a couple of us now. I think this is the current team of uh, research associates and doctoral students. I think uh, you can see here some other pictures more. We have some former students and external students as well who are also studying but who are not formally employed. Very often they come here under different scholarships or fellowships. And then we usually have a team of around 10 people, 10 researchers, and we like also to work, to do research together. In terms of research clusters, I think you have become familiar, uh, familiarized yourself with them. We have three clusters, expats, diversity management, and talent management. In terms of research methods, we do almost anything. So the question is, what kind of uh, phenomenon or what do you want to study? And then we would like to choose the appropriate research methodology. Having said that still, I would say the majority of us do survey research, quantitative research, but also some do others. Uh, as a doctoral student, as a research associate, you would also be involved in teaching. We teach various courses, bachelor, master, master level. At the bachelor level, it's mostly in German language and at the master level, mostly in English. Uh, different topics. Uh, it's mostly within human resource management and some also related uh, topics. Some of the uh, characteristics of our team, I would say, one would be research orientation. Uh, we really would like to educate and develop researchers, and that's also what we live and do. Um, we are international in nature. I think you can see already in, in this group today, uh, and not everyone speaks German, everyone speaks English. Uh, that's also our business language and it's interdisciplinary. Maybe you saw that previously. We have different disciplines, business, probably the majority, but also others. Uh, we like to work in teams. Uh, there's a corpor corporative uh, spirit, I would say. And uh, I guess you're friendly now. We have Corona, so there's a little less interaction than usual. And then let me briefly talk about the doctoral program. Here I would like to emphasize a couple of facts. I think one is a three years program and that's the expected duration. You also will get a three year contract and then um, we would usually expect you to finish within three years if certain reasons uh, uh, you would need more time up to a maximum of four years. That's usually what uh, we would like to support, particularly if you stay, want to stay in academia and you have difficulties finding a job within three years because that can be tight. If you don't want to stay in academia, you want to go out, there's no point in extending a doctoral program. It's just to get it done uh, and to move on. We have a committee, so I would be the first, the primary supervisor, but then also there would be two co-supervisor committee members. You would have a close or not close relationship with them, that depends. Uh, we don't write monographs anymore, it's cumulative, and so that would mean you would write three to four papers of, of at least one should be published or accepted and the others should be publishable so at a good level. There's also a doctoral program. It sounds very fancy but I wouldn't say it isn't. It's a few courses you should take and then you make a check afterwards and that's done. I do offer one or two seminars uh, where doctoral students learn how to write papers and also research methods. Uh, that's typically in the first year of your doctoral program and I think that's also extremely important and helpful. Objectives of the doctoral program is learn how to conduct a research project, your 
doctoral dissertation, you will also learn how to write a research paper, which can be very different from writing essays or anything. It's their own language in itself. And I or we will teach you. Also, we will equip you with the necessary method skills or also many of you also learn it on your own. And then you will be also involved in teaching. You can register for some teaching education courses or also get some mentoring you know, from your senior uh, students or also from me. One of the main purposes is then also to prepare you for an academic career. Yeah, like in a typical Anglo-Saxon sense, that the doctorate is an entry and a training for an academic career, not just a title uh, for a corporate uh, career. As a research associate, as a doctoral student, I think there are essentially two different roles. One would be your job as a research associate. You will be employed by the university and you would teach uh, one seminar or tutorial per year or the equivalent if you only do it part-time. You may or may not be involved in research grants or maybe book publications, uh, maybe some all kinds of other research, research activities or various other activities or maybe also what you can bring or what you would like to learn. If you say, oh, I like homepage design, yeah, welcome. Yeah, that could be something you could do, but it's nothing that you have to do and will divide the work, also depending on the background of people. Another role of your position would be writing your doctoral dissertation. Yeah, and there you would maybe design a study, collect data, analyze and write papers. All doctoral students are here at my chair on a 50% contract. And so that means also teaching load is minimal uh, to the extent necessary. And also that you will have time for research and really finish your doctoral dissertation in three years. That's somewhat different maybe to some other doctoral programs or um, supervision setups uh, where doctoral students stay for five years but get 75 or 100 percent. I don't see much value in that uh, because if you do a lot of admin work and others and teaching that will not help you much to find an academic job later on. Uh, you might be more cushioned uh, but also more busy and would delay and having less time for your research. However, if you think that is necessary, you can also do additional teaching and then also increase your, your pay. Some of the opportunities here, if you join us, I think you can easily finish within three years. You can select your own topic within our research clusters because the idea is that we can do work together. And so hence also we stay in these uh, clusters and then also that I and also my colleagues can provide you very good feedback and guidance. You will really learn how to publish here in journals. I'm an editor of many journals and all doctoral students will publish. Some need more, some need less help, yeah, but that we will find out later on. I think also here we have a very international atmosphere and you can also join international projects working together with other professors and scholars in many different countries. You can attend Sorry, nowadays, this year probably you can't, yeah, but next year hopefully again you can also join international conferences, go to the US, different other countries. If you like, you can also stay abroad for research purpose and so forth that will be supported uh, and also all kinds of international networks. We usually have a lot of come and go with many foreign professors visit us on a regular basis with the exception of now Corona, and hopefully that will be uh, will change soon. And uh, I, I think we usually have a friendlier and a good uh, work environment and your flexible work hours. Even before Corona, you can do home office, this and that. <laughs> now anyway, anyone can do, but also later on, there's a lot of flexibility in your job. Our graduates, I, I did this yesterday, I put this soon, I think one of our alumni also works at uh, Cologne Business School now and then at many other German universities, typically as a junior professor or postdoc or Akademischer Rat, we say in Germany. Then UK is also has become now a typical destination for graduates, uh, university in the UK, and, and then also some organizations uh, and companies. I think that's an overview, a quick one.